So this is an audio test for the Osmo Pocket. Just checking out to see how this camera works and how the audio is. A nice sunny day over in Vegas. You can kind of see right over there is the stratosphere over there. Put on 4K right now, 24 frames per second. Just downtown Las Vegas, so kind of cool. It's probably pretty dark here and I got the sun glare right at my face right now, but we're just checking out the audio here and just kind of seeing how things are. Let's get out of the sun here. I'll be back. Checking out the low light settings right now to kind of see how um, the camera works in low light with like bright neon lights. And this is a really good place. But as you can see, that the microphone actually works good when I'm point on. But the moment I start moving away from the camera, you're not getting a right good sound out of this camera. So um, if you want good quality further away from the camera, you're probably going to need like an external uh, microphone to actually give you a better quality sound. But other than that, a little graininess with the low light, but um, actually the picture actually looks pretty good. Again, over at Rebar off of Maine in Las Vegas. All right, cheers. So I'm still walking Main Street, kind of giving a vlog perspective. I like it. it. To me, it's like like it's like a small camera. No one actually knows that you're kind of vlogging. It's small. It does 4K. does 120 frames per second. You can get a lot of use out of it. Would I use this as a vlog camera? Totally. It's kind of like ninja shooting. Like no one knows that you're holding like a real big camera in your hand. Like I don't have to take any... I don't have to take my A65 Sony anywhere. I don't have to take a big gimbal because this actually has a gimbal in it and you're totally good to go. But so far the camera is actually pretty nice. Um, low light settings with bright light, you actually get a good picture, but you take away some light and it actually starts to look kind of grainy. So once I post edit that, we're gonna actually gonna see how that actually looks. So I'm gonna actually go over to a coffee shop over on the southwest side, so let's go check that place out. It's like a more lit place, and we'll see how the camera does over there. I ended up just getting this about a week ago, day Correct. before release. Day before release, I actually uh, popped it. I popped it out, and uh, I started using it right away as soon as I got it, and it's awesome. I learned how to finally put this little <laughs> tether on. I know. I, I, don't, I don't even have. I don't even have it's one. It's a on pain. Mine. It's a pain. So I finally got it on, and I seriously now I leave the house and I'm like this. You just take it wherever you yeah. go. And I, I think that's what's really cool about it, because like I used to take my camera bag, right. and then anywhere I go, I would take it. If I go to restaurants or whatnot, I like to take a camera with me. Right. But I'm taking this little um, point and shoot, which is small. It's already a small camera, but with with, with the Osmo Pocket, it's even smaller. Correct. Right. And I'll show you a little uh, 
but the but the thing is though, it's like, well, the Osmo Pocket actually replaced your your point and shoot, and no, it won't no, because. No. With a, with a point and shoot, you have the ability to zoom in and out on a subject if you're far away. The lens on the Osmo Pocket, you only have that one length. Correct, one length. So, so you can't replace it. Correct. You can replace size, but you can't replace the, the functions that you get out of this camera here. Will it replace the GoPro? You know? Close Again. enough, but no. Because it's what these two are competing with each other, right. price-wise. Okay. But with the GoPro, you have your action camera. That's right. You don't have an act. You do have stab stabilization. Correct. But you can't go in the water. No. Without the casing, which is not out. You, you cannot throw this in the ocean by itself without the casing. Right. This, you could at least go, oh, that's so cool. I'm going to run in the water and then be fine with it. This one, you can't. The, the nice thing though, you can run with this and it will be stabilized. Definitely. Uh, I believe it's a three axis. Three axis gimbal on this. Three axis gimbal. So the stabilization on this is just awesome. You know? Go, GoPro 7 has electronical stabilization which works really good. With your, with your point and shoot, you need to have your gimbal set up, which makes this small camera into a very large gimbal piece. And you don't want to walk around with this big gimbal and anywhere where you can kind of, I was calling it ninja mode. Ninja mode, see? That's what <laughs> I covered the, the 4K portion of the Osmo, and Jules, which I will link his video, covered all the 1080p. Yes, only because I didn't know how to put it on 4K. <laughs> But anybody does now, so all I do now. I do now. I do now. Okay, so. And uh, and I was too lazy. I figured he would learn everything and just give me a quick tutorial, which it was a quick tutorial. So our our biggest question. This is kind of the title of our of our video. Is is this camera a vlogger's camera? Yes. That that I will agree to. I think because uh, like you'll see a lot of videos out there. Like, is this a professional camera or is this a consumer camera? I think vlog wise, as a professional. Um, vlogger, it's the best camera right now for a vlogger. Right. But for a consumer, this is probably a awesome camera to take if you are on a trip and you don't want to carry any heavy loads, or if you don't even have a big point and shoot, a mirrorless uh, DSLR. This is an awesome camera. I think this is an awesome, just a, a novelist, like someone that that's thinking about getting a GoPro, but you just have to put in consideration, again, it doesn't have the same um, robustness as a GoPro, but it can shoot 4K, it can do, it can take pictures, you know, it'll do frames, it'll do this pano, 3x3, three three, right. which 180, is totally three by three, cool, right. right? And right. then, and the best part is, with all this, this is the best, best feature I love the most with it, so it's like this, and then you literally do this, and it flips to you. Right. And, and now you got your and, yeah, now you're just like talking like if you're on a video, you're on a, you can, this is probably regulated, you can take to Disneyland, you know. Right. Without them uh, flagging your gimbal so that everything is steady. Um, they have little accessories, adapters to it, so you can actually, for those that already have GoPros, you can mount it to your GoPro stuff because it has a little accessory to it that has that little locking thing. Right, for the, for the casing, so right? you can start using an attachment. I mean, it, it's a heavy price at 350 I think for a regular consumer, one, 190 would have been perfect, 199 But at 350 that's more of a professional price for professionals to buy. But now I'm going to flip this over and then and the view screen is really, really small, right? So if that's too small for an average person, you actually have that the ability to switch this little knob so you can actually connect it to your to your phone, right. which gives you a bigger screen. The biggest problem that I had when shooting outside was um, it needed an ND filter. The, when yes. the sun came out, the, the clarity of your video when when the sun was when, when the camera was directly out of sight, you get little sun hazes. Uh, but an ND filter would definitely fix that. I, I will say it does try to. I guess if it's digital or what, the transitions on them from from light to dark, it, it tries to adapt as quick as it can, right. and it's not too bad. Um, I seriously charged it up, um, you know, ready to go on Friday. I took a trip out. I mean, I didn't full on, you know, use it for like a whole hour straight because I think they were saying it's a two hour, right. uh, two hour, three hour, something like that time that you can use this. 
one charge since Friday. I went to Cali, did a bunch of two minute videos here and there, came back home and it's still fine. Right. On a on a Sunday night. I mean I didn't I didn't even have to charge it. And like like right now I'm actually we're actually shooting on mine and I'd actually have it connected to an external battery. So that's actually plugged in and we're on a stand right now. So we're not gonna lose any battery life right now. We can probably record until the thing overheats. But I haven't had an issue on overheating. No, yeah, so that's actually a good thing too. Yeah. Um, low light recording though, that's an issue though. Like if your settings aren't with any type of bright light or neon light, you're gonna see a lot of grain. The, the, the footage looks a little grainy. So works good in low light, but you have to have a light source to kind of right. bring, bring out, out. The, your footage. And you can see that with enhance, some of the... Enhance the quality. Exactly. You can see that in some of the videos that I took you get you can see the example right. so the whole video that we shot today was all through the, the osmo pocket yeah i right. like it it's like actually it. my only camera i have in my bag right that now that is you know what i throw i throw this camera in my bag just because you know i go to work and it's in my bag just because. right i won't give up my my sony my my rx this is my i love this camera but if i, if I want to vlog and i'm out in a restaurant I really love people not looking at me holding a big camera and just this little tiny gimbal and then that's it. Awesome. I totally recommend it to anybody. Let's just close this out. All right. Well, is, uh, it a, is it a vlogging camera? Yes, it is. Definitely. Um, would I recommend it? Yes. Would I even recommend it for daily use? Yes. Is it a little pricey? Just a tad bit. You know, you might have to give up a Nintendo Switch for it. But, <laughs> but yeah. you know, it's yeah. funny though. It's like when when I would hold my camera with my gimbal, you know, you get a lot of looks, right? So right now, when I'm holding uh, this camera. I'm still getting a lot of looks, but they're like, hey, what is that in your hand? You know, and they're like, oh, that's a camera? So, yeah, yeah. but that's yeah, fun. I recommend it. Hey, it's fun. let's tech. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We're out. out.